you know. I guess that's just what you sign up for when you decide to use these apps. So let's look at a couple articles regarding Tinder so we can get to know this app a bit more intimately. Because someday I might find myself on Tinder getting zero matches. (laughs) So here's an article that says top 10 Tinder tips, how to get more matches, 10 easy ways to improve your chances in the world of app driven dating. Okay. So, with over 10 million daily active users, Tinder is one of the most popular and successful dating apps. It's all about first impressions because people have no choice but to judge you by your photos and the limited information you provide on your bio. Undeniably, Tinder is driven by appearances, as superficial as it may be. It's crazy that people still say bullshit like looks don't matter. I swear to God. But I digress. It is worth noting that Tinder is different for men and women. An interesting Tinder experiment conducted by the YouTube channel Whatever clearly illustrates this gender disparity. They created two profiles using photos of attractive male and female models. Further, their information was identical regarding age, location, and number of pictures. After a thousand swipes, they discovered that a female profile matched 70% of the time, while a male profile only received 27% of matches. Damn. So what, that's a, that's a 43% difference, right? God damn. Additionally, the female profile received almost 400 messages in a short period, while the male profile only received 28 messages in his inbox. While the Tinder game is different for men and women, the fundamentals of a good Tinder profile are the same. Here they are. And you know, I'm not going to stick on this subject too long. But one thing you will hear people say in regards to data like that, showing how much of an advantage that women have over men on dating apps, you know, they'll say, oh, it's not real life and yada, yada, yada. And I get that the circumstances on uh, dating apps is going to be quite different from the circumstances of real life. But me personally, I do believe that the data that we see like like this, again, women getting matched 70% of the time compared to men being matched only 27% of the time. I think statistics like that, data like this is ultimately a, a reflection Maybe not a 100% accurate reflection, but I do think that it's a reflection of how reality works a lot of times. Um, Maybe reality isn't as extreme, but I definitely think that regardless of that, women still have the advantage, a significant advantage over men when it comes to dating and options. Um, maybe to a lesser extent in real life, if you want to make that argument, but still overall, they have an advantage just more so online. So here are the tips. Hold up. Uh, I'm checking the time real quick. Okay. One. Oh, that's, that's great. So one, use a simple bio. A few words are fine. Words that display who you really are. Don't try to go overboard with your quirkiness and don't try to be funny. Most importantly, be yourself and do not leave this section blank. Now, I don't, I can understand not going overboard with the quirkiness, but to say don't try to be funny, because I've seen some clever Tinder profiles or, or Tinder profile bios. So, but again, this is Mr. Virgin here, so don't listen to me. I'm just I'm just saying I don't see why you can't add a bit of humor to your Tinder bio. Two, show your personality through pictures. Choose three to six photos that clearly represent your personality and everyday lifestyle. Make sure there's a mix of headshots, body shots, and if you are adventurous, include an active photo. But in all, do not include selfies. Research shows that an outdoorsy photos, the outdoorsy photos get 19% more swipes, and selfies get 8% fewer swipes. 
Mainly, you want to highlight your best features. Remember, you you main Tinder, your main Tinder profile picture can make all the difference. I think the thing about selfies is that there might be some sort of hmm. How should I word this? There might be. I think the reason why selfies are inferior to other types of photos is that selfies one kind of makes it look like you don't have friends or people around you to take photographs for you when somebody else is taking your picture it really does just take it to the next level because your body is a hundred percent free to pose the way you want to or to react to the camera and i think overall it just it does add to the perception that you're somebody that has friends or people that will take pictures of you you know like i have damn near no friends so you know if i were to do a tinder profile i would have to do my pictures by myself like holding the phone up and whatnot and so i think that again it probably just gives off the impression that you don't have a very social life because you're you don't even have enough people around you to say hey take a picture of me three have good quality photos avoid any blurry poorly cropped highly edited photos and heavily filtered photos you should show what you really look like making it highly edited and heavily filtered would make it look like you are hiding something and insecure now i think that's a good one I know even when I see pictures of girls, and it might not even be uh, like photos they took for a dating app or something like that, but just pictures in general. When I see these pictures of girls that are like heavily edited and whatnot, it's just, it, it, it really is unattractive because one, again, you don't really know what that person looks like. And then when they go to the extreme of editing their own photos, it makes them look insecure. And again, you, just just to think of what you could run run into if you met that person in real life. Not like I would have those types of troubles, but you know, for someone who is dating, um, yeah, I can completely understand why you want to avoid that. You know, just just as people say, be yourself, but also present your your looks for what they are that's not to say that you can't um like maybe you have a good side <laughs> that you prefer to have a photo taken of like maybe you look better at certain angles or maybe you look better with certain styles of clothing and and whatnot you know if you're a girl maybe a bit of makeup like I, like i don't think it's so wrong to uh enhance your features so to speak in um easy convenient ways but going to the extremes of going to fo uh using photoshop to make yourself look better i think that's when it gets a little crazy four avoid too many group photos your perspective matches are not going to waste time analyzing 10 different images Trying to decipher which one out of the group photo is you, in saying this, avoid photos involving you with your ex-partners or people from the opposite sex. In general, in fact, 96% of these photos receive a negative reaction. Although having group photos show you are social, you don't want your potential match to play Where's Wally, now do you? Now, I've seen those pictures of girls where you'll see like three or four girls and then one of them will be fat <laughs> and then maybe the rest of them will be okay or skinny and pretty and typically this is the sort of thing that ugly girls do or fat girls will do they'll make their main picture a group picture so that you will at least try to look through their photos instead of just swiping left on them just based off of how many chins that they have if you see a group photo you might wonder okay she might be the skinny one she might be the pretty one and so you start swiping through or looking through the uh, pictures but yeah 
I think uh, I can see why group photos would be good because, like I said, it makes you look more social, like you have a life. But those are the type of photos you probably want to have lower in the deck, maybe number three, four, or five, or something like that. But I think your first couple of photos should just be of you so that it's clear that, okay, this is who I am. This is what you're going to get if you match with me. You know, don't make people work. Don't make anyone have to do extra work to figure out whether or not they are interested in matching with you. You know, don't make it more difficult than it already is. Oh, smile. Number five. I could do this. According to OkCupid okay data, women who flirt directly into the camera receive the most messages. On the other hand, men that look away and not smiling receive more attention. Never mind. <laughs> I'm fucked. Maybe it's because it gives a sense of mysteriousness about them. But don't go deleting all your non-smiling pictures. Choosing what photo you want as your main is an important choice. Smiling is an attract is attractive for both genders and will make you look for look for genuine, make you look genuine and inviting. So I guess when it comes to smiling, it's something that works better for women than for men. I guess with us, we're supposed to look more like dark and brooding and moody and shit. Um, but uh, I don't know because I remember I've been complimented on my smile quite a bit, even one time by a girl. <laughs> so this one kind of like me if if i had to make a profile picture i would definitely go for the hard smile but again this, don't take my advice six highlight your best features let's be honest this is tender if you have a good body don't be afraid to assinuate it don't make it too obvious though i'm saying in saying this it is best for someone to take it for you however as a for mention have a mix of photos and not just photos of your body. Although these photos will get you messages, it may not potentially lead to an actual conversation. Well, not in comparison with other photos anyways. This is why you should display photos that represent you to receive more meaningful messages. So I, this makes me think of the guys in the gym, you know, lifting the, sh lifting the shirt up, showing the abs and whatnot. And again, like stuff like that can go either way, because on one hand, if you got it, you got it. And if a girl likes it, she likes it. But I think that when you take those types of photos yourself, it makes you look self-centered. It makes you look vain. And I think that's the that's the bad thing about it. If you can if you can get those types of photos, but to get it taken in such a way that looks as natural as possible, like, oh, I just happen to have my shirt off at the party with a beer in my hand or something like that. That, you know, then it's like, oh, he's just a hot guy, but he's not all into himself. He's not like trying to show it off. Like that's just him being a hot guy. You know, I can get where they're coming from with that. But, you know, I, I guess it's just something you got to be careful with. Seven, get feedback. Get your friends to choose their favorite photos and rank them from best to worst. Once you find some consistency, you would be able to have an idea on what kind of photos you want to display. I think that's actually a good idea. I like that. Yeah, like have like a, you know, have a little photo shoot or something like that. Just um, get into the habit of taking and collecting pictures of yourself. And then in preparation of making your Tinder profile, you know, get a second opinion, get a friend or a sister or something to check out your pictures and see which ones you should uh, put up there. Eight, use a professional. Most of the time an iPhone just isn't going to cut it. So unless your bestie or roommate has a DSLR camera and some time to lend you, Getting an affordable professional is a good idea. A professional will direct your shoot to ensure that all of the above eight points are covered, as well as ensuring that all the technical details like lighting are met. You can book a snap or shoot for $59. <laughs> oh boy, so yeah, they, they had to do that, that plug there right at the end. And look, it said 10 tender tips, it was only eight. They stopped it right there at the goddamn plug. But I think some of these tips were actually pretty good, though. 
Um, I think the best tip I would say, let me see. Honestly, the I think the feedback tip is probably the best one. Overall, I think your approach should be to get a good collection of photos for yourself. Um, and I think the feedback aspect of it is going to help you out a lot, especially as a guy, because we tend to be dense about these sort of things. If you can get a female perspective, especially, I think that could potentially help you out a lot as far as like constructing a good Tinder profile for yourself.